Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a product to keep your eyes on because should it be $10 or below, it would be a really, really good buy. Even at $12, it's like reasonable. Not the best, but still, I expect to see heavier discounts in Christmas. So Black Friday is good, but Christmas is always better. And why Christmas is better is because everyone's trying to do their 2017 revenue reports. And if any company has investors, wink, wink, Hasbro, then they need to sell more products towards the end of the year to push up their sales for the entire year. They have to finish strong, right? So let's talk about this deck. Blessed vs. Cursed is a dual deck. It has been out for some time. Uh, it has Geist and has Champion of the Paris. And that's two very important. It also has Gravecrawler. So... Out of those free cards combined, they're more than the $12, which is very important here to understand. You have eight, four, four. Even buy listing, I, okay, let's not talk about buy listing now. Eight, four, four is 16. If you can buy this for 12, it's not bad because your $16 is held in free cards. So it's not like random cards or a dollar or two. And we'll talk about a more interesting speculation. Uh, riskier speculation if you will in the merfolk versus goblin thing if it gets down low enough i don't think 12 dollars is the lowest point that this is going to be right now i think it could hit 10 at 10 you're looking at 16 17 dollars in a few cards that's a fantastic value that is tremendous value in this set. now of course if it's 16.99 it's a really bad deal but i don't think it's ever going to be 16.99 again because there's too much of it, and everyone knows the value isn't good. So Geist, I like it as a speculation. I like $8 Geist. I like the Gravecrawler at 4 I think the Gravecrawler has a lot of utility, and overall, it when it's not if we see more zombies, right? It's when we see zombies. And whenever we see zombies next, it will go up in price. Just from casual appeal. So I like it casually think it can hold its price if not go up long term wise and the dual deck just has a lot of in, instead of having value like split evenly among 60 or 120 cards it has top heavy value and when i'm looking to buy pre-constructed decks i'm looking only at the top heavy i'm only looking at the top five maybe six cards and seeing if the value is there on david adams with coupons you can get this for ten dollars right now $16, $17 top heavy on the first three cards. Very good value for something that you can get for $10. All right, so Gravecrawler is pretty good. Now, here's another speculation I love. Currently, there's a modern deck called Five Color Humans. It looks very spicy. It looks very good. I don't, the only reason this card is $4 and not $10 is because of this deck. Now, should the supply run out, and this is an old set, so you have. We're going to kind of compare the Merfolk vs. Goblin versus this. This has been printed a long time ago. I think Mind Rack Demon or was, what was that? Shadows of Innistrad. So even the set that the preview card was based on is now rotated out. And we have Champion of the Paris. Very, very good. Very amazing modern card. So not only does it have top heavy value, it has the top heavy value of Champion, Gravecrawler, and Geist is speculation targets anyway, in my opinion. Uh, I like Geist a lot. I feel like Geist is quite undervalued. And he did receive a bump due to Tiny Leaders, right? Tiny Leaders was kind of a fad, and he was the best commander in Tiny Leaders. I love him. I think he's good. I think he's undervalued. And should people play more of these control -y builds? You know, just a lot of power, a lot of toughness. Very difficult to deal with because he has Hexproof. Fantastic card. So out of the top heavy set, if you pay $10 for this and you had Geist, Gravecrawler, and Champion Parish, Champion and Parish one day might be more, worth more than $10. Gravecrawler one, one day might be worth more than $10. And Geist, I can say for certain, will probably be one day worth more than $10. Now, even if one of these gets reprinted, you have the other two to rely on. I don't see for $10 how this could go wrong. Like, I think it's not bad. Now, if you're buying for $17, yeah, it's actually not good. 
But if you buy for 10, which you can get at David Adams, and during Christmas time, I fully expect to see this at $10, if not under. And I will buy tons of them for my store, uh, just to break down, hold, and just keep them. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.